Hey everyone, welcome back to MOVE. It is day 18, a day in which we savor. Let's get started. Alrighty, my darling friends. Let's come into a nice comfortable seat, sit up nice and tall, lengthen through the crown of the head, take a deep breath in. As you do so, squeeze the shoulders up to the ears and then exhale, pull them back and down. Jumping right in, inhale, squeeze and lift shoulders to ears and exhale, drop them down. Inhale, squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift. Exhale, drop them down. Then keep a little weight tagging down in the elbows as you, you lift your chest. You can close your eyes if you like here. And continue to gently deepen your breath. It's day 18, amazing. This is an incredible opportunity for you today. An invitation to practice really enjoying, tasting every move, paying attention to sensation, savoring this time that you've carved out for yourself, and, and really recognizing or remembering that that is the practice. Being really present with your experience, no matter what it is, instead of trying to kind of like have this expectation and then to fit that mold. Instead, we kind of flip it, reverse it, and we savor the experience of simply showing up. And we allow just one present moment to be a window into the next. For me, this really is what mindfulness practice is all about. working from the inside out, from the interior to the exterior and not the other way around. Draw the palms together at your heart. Feel the warmth of your palms kissing together here. Inhale in deeply as you exhale, bow your head. Feel that nice stretch in the back of the neck. In fact, really draw your shoulder blades down towards your hips. Feel that stretch. And day 18, choosing to savor the moment, to be present. Allow yourself to feel and taste everything on the mat, and at the very least, just honor this tiny bit of time that you've carved out for yourself. I am so in admiration of you. Thank you for being here. Inhale. Exhale to open the eyes, lift the chin. Let's get moving, left hand to the earth. Inhale, right, right fingertips all the way up towards the sky and then up and over for a nice side body stretch. Today, pull your right thumb back and see if you can start to really spiral your chest up towards the sky. Don't worry about how it looks. Focus on the sensation of finding that lift through the chest. And then draw the chin to the chest, navel to spine as you come through to center and slowly roll it up all the way, head over heart, heart over pelvis. Good, inhale in deeply. Exhale, relax the shoulders down. Right hand to the earth. Inhale, left fingertips reach up to the sky first. Find length in the side body. And then think up and over with the left fingertips as you begin to reach towards the right. Pull the left thumb back, spiral your heart up towards the sky. Inhale in deeply, exhale, navel draws in, chin to chest, come through center, and again, soft and easy, we roll it up, head over heart, heart over pelvis. Benji is making me smile behind the plant there. It's like a where's Waldo, but where's Benji? All right, let's come forward onto all fours, spread the fingertips wide. Maybe you walk the hands a little bit wider today than shoulders just playing here and same with the knees. Make sure they're not too narrow, but they're right underneath the hip points. 
Then press into the tops of the feet, toes, ankles are in line with the knees. As we inhale, drop the belly, look forward. And exhale, round through the spine, chin to chest. Now follow the sound of your breath here and right away, I'd like to invite you to, when you're ready, when you feel the impulse, start to veer off the railroad tracks here. So you have the structure of cat-cow, but you can start to find what feels good and explore a little bit more, bumping the hips a little left to right, curling the toes under, continuing to check in with your breath. What would savoring this moment here, this spinal flexion here of cat-cow look like? What could it look like? No rules. Maybe you start to get into the shoulders a little bit, the neck. Then curl the toes under here, send the hips back towards the heels, palms come to the tops of the thighs, inhale just like we did before, squeeze and lift shoulders to ears and exhale, float them down, stretching through the fascia of the foot, big breath, lift from the pelvic floor, lift shoulders to ears and then exhale, ah, roll it down. And inhale, squeeze and lift one last time, shoulders to ears and exhale, release. Awesome, come back to all fours, press into the tops of the feet. Good, inhale, extend left fingertips forward, right toes back, find your balance. Uh, draw the low ribs in, so hug your rib cage in towards your spine, and then here we go, big breath to spread the fingers, spread the toes, and exhale, round it through. Inhale, expand, stretch, reach. Exhale, contract, lift, squeeze. One more time, inhale, expand, long neck. Exhale, squeeze and lift, bring it all in. Lovely, release, switch to the other side right away. Inhale, right fingertips forward, left toes back. Drop your left hip, pull back your right shoulder. Inhale, spread the fingertips, spread the toes. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, expand, reach. Exhale, draw it in. Press in your right foot for stability, left palm for stability as you inhale, reach. And exhale, draw it in, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good, and release. This time, keep the toes down, press into the tops of the feet, tuck the chin into the chest, and slowly roll up, coming onto the knees here. You can always use your mat, right? Double up on the mat to pad the knees or grab your blanket. Loop the shoulders forward, up and back with your breath, forward, up and back with your breath, and forward, up and back with your breath and then interlace the fingertips behind the tailbone here. Draw the knuckles down as you lift your chest. Good, we're active in the legs here so feel that connection pressing into the tops of your feet. Then you're gonna take your knuckles over towards the left sideways, so towards your left hip. Then draw them down and away here and then draw your right ear towards your right shoulder. Then see if you can kind of square your hips and shoulders towards the front edge of your mat and breathe. Whew, then slowly release, bring it back to center. We're gonna just reverse the thumb. So you're gonna find the opposite thumb on top and then take your knuckles over towards your right waistline, right hip, draw it down and away. Left ear over left shoulder and then slowly squaring the hips and shoulders. So it looks like this. Big stretch through the trapezius. Good, slowly release. Release the bind, reach the fingertips forward, up and back, bend the elbows, float it down. Inhale, reach the fingertips forward, up and back, bend the elbows, cactus arms, and float it down. Last one, really spread the fingertips, engage through the feet, feel your glutes turn on here. 
And then we'll slowly release, hands back down to the earth. Great, curl the toes under, take a deep breath in. Now, think about how you transition to downward dog here. Can you savor this transition instead of just kind of throwing your body around and hefting it up and back? Can we find a way, I won't even tell you how to do it, you just, you just explore here. Can we find a way to get there that feels connected, like we're present with the sensation and then continue that when you land there, right? We don't just get to downward dog and wait for the next cue. Then slowly take a walk all the way up towards the front edge of your mat, nice and slow. How you get there is up to you. When you get there, feet hip width apart, toes pointing forward. Allow the weight of the head to melt over and grabbing opposite elbow if it feels good. Relaxing the weight of the head, pressing into all four corners of the feet, really pressing into those heels. You got it. Breathe. Find soft, easy movement here. Find what feels good for you. Nice, then release the fingertips down. We're gonna walk the fingertips over towards the left side of the mat. If the fingertips don't come close to the earth, you can bend the knees generously or you can grab your right wrist with your left hand. And then swing it on through gently to the other side. Same thing, fingertips on the mat, on blocks or maybe grabbing the left wrist with the right hand. Amazing, release that. Come all the way to center, inhale, slide the hands past the tops of the feet, past the shins, past the kneecaps as you lift them gently into the tops of the thighs. Then loop the shoulders as we've been doing, pull the elbows back like little grasshopper legs and come into this flat back position. Now notice if your front body is just kind of falling with gravity here. See if you can engage the muscles of your front body to lift it up towards your backbone. Great, pull the shoulders away from the ears a little more here. Take a deep breath in and then let it all go. Awesome. Hands come to the waistline, bend your knees, power up. This is definitely a power transition here, so enjoy it, savor it. Loop the shoulders, press in all four corners of the feet and rise up strong. Hands on the waist here. Imagine you were trying to tear your yoga mat straight down the middle so your legs are super engaged. Entering this power pose. Stand up nice and tall. Feel this upward current of energy through the front body, this downward current of energy through the back body. And we're just gonna repeat what we did on, on our knees. So we'll interlace the fingertips behind, slide them over towards the left hip, draw them down and right ear over right shoulder. And release, switch the cross of the bind to opposite thumb on top as you take the hands to your right waistline, draw them down, and left ear over left shoulder. Good, then keep the fingertips interlaced, bring them back to center, open up through the open up through the chest, got excited. <laughs> yes, I am a human being mm, on this other side of the camera. Or am I, it could be AI talking. Right now I'm interrupting your practice. Draw the knuckles down, lift your chest, inhale, exhale, fold forward, all the way down, bend your knees generously, knuckles reach up towards the sky and forward. Come back to the sound of your breath. Inhale in deeply and exhale, completely release the fingertips to the mat. It's totally okay to have fun in your practice. We should talk about that a little bit more. Send the left toes back, lower the left knee to the ground. So this is a good practice to consider that though. As we savor the moment, pull the right hip crease back, inhale, sweep the fingertips all the way up, crescent. Maybe you walk the toes forward a little bit, right toes forward, sink a little deeper today. Inhale in, exhale, float the fingertips all the way down. Lift the back knee, inhale, right fingertips to the sky, big stretch, big twist. 
And then exhale, float the right hand all the way down. Step the back foot up halfway, pyramid posture. You can keep the back heel lifted or if it starts to root down, amazing. Pull the right hip crease back, everyone. Breathe in. Breathe out, send it back to your nice low lunge. Plant the palms, step the right toes back. Inhale in, plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice, bend the knees. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top, nice and slow. Good, inhale, halfway lift, your version, long neck. Exhale, soften and bow. Hands come to the waistline, ground through the feet, keep the knees bent as you slowly press into the earth to power rise up. Inhale in deeply here, exhale, release. Inter interlace the fingertips behind the back, you choose the bind, you choose the thumb that's on top, knuckles draw down and away. Walk the feet together, really together here, arches of the feet, squeezing, Lift the chest, breathe in, and exhale, bend the knees, forward fold all the way down. Good, release the hands, inhale, halfway lift, lift excuse me. Exhale to soften and bow. Fingertips come to the mat, we step the right foot back, lower the right knee. Pull the left hip crease back, inhale, squeeze inner thighs towards the center of your mat as you sweep the fingertips forward, up and back. Maybe you inch the front toes just a little bit towards the front edge of your mat, just inviting a little more depth. But we have this beautiful lift of the, the pelvic floor. We have that core stability. Good, inhale in here, exhale to slowly release it back down. Right hand comes to the earth, left fingertips reach all the way up as you lift that right knee. Big breath, big twist here. Then exhale, left hand down. Bend the knees, step the back foot in halfway. If the right heel comes to the ground, great. If not, no worries. Everyone pull the left hip crease back. Breathe, breathe, breathe here. This is a challenging posture. Stay with your breath. Inhale and exhale to send the right toes back to your nice low lunge. Beautiful, everyone inhale, open the chest, look forward. Exhale, plant the palms, step the left toes back, plank pose. Good, we're just gonna rock a little side to side here, tick-tocking the heels, pressing away from the yoga mat. We're here for three, we're here for two, and one. Slowly lower belly to the earth. You can lower the knees first if you like. Nice and easy. Try to land softly. Inhale, cobra. Opening the heart. Take a breath or two here today. And when you're ready, slowly release. Take it to child's pose. Nice and slow. Moving with your breath. Knees together. Melting your heart down, fingertips reaching towards the front edge of the mat or behind towards your toes. Relax the weight of the head over, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and exhale out. Slowly inhale to rise back up. Walk the knees underneath the hips. Curl the toes under, lift the hips up high and back downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg high. Exhale, bend your right knee, bring your right shin all the way up towards the front edge. Extend the back leg, one-legged pigeon here, looking back to straighten that leg, really rooting down through the top of the left foot. Inhale, we lift the heart, lift the chest. Exhale, we take it forward, either on the fingertips, blocks, forearms, or today maybe reaching the palms all the way forward, melting the heart down to the earth. Keep your right toes awake here. Keep the shoulders relaxed, tension out of the face. Inhale in. Listen to the exhale as you breathe out. Inhale in. Listen to the sound of your breath as you exhale. Great, take one more cycle of breath here. 
Savor it and then slow and steady using the palms to slowly rise up. We're gonna rock onto the right hip here. We're gonna bring the left leg all the way up and over. Left foot comes to cross just outside of the right thigh. If we don't make it, we can bring it to the inside of the right leg. Otherwise, we're looking to cross it over. If you feel like, oh, I'm almost there, maybe you lift the hips up on a little towel or blanket right now to come into this shape. When you get there, sit up nice and tall. Work, it's okay if it doesn't happen, but work to get that left big toe, the ball joint of that left big toe down to the ground. Everyone lift up from the pelvic floor. Shoulders are relaxed, neck is nice and long. Heart, sternum lifting up towards the sky. Good, inhale, reach the right fingertips all the way up and overhead. Exhale, we're gonna twist. Hug the ribs in, hug the rib cage in as you bring the outer edge of the right elbow to the outer edge of the left thigh. Then use your left fingertips behind you to grow tall in the spine. Inhale as you think about growing taller, lifting up through the crown of the head. And then exhale, slow and steady, thinking about taking your center of gravity a little more deeply into the twist. So rather than cranking with your hand, really let it come from this center stability that we've been playing with for 17 days now. Inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale, soft twist from the middle. Lovely, slowly release, follow your breath, follow your breath as you unravel. You're gonna just bring the left leg back, come back to all fours, curl the toes under, enjoy this move as you peel the tail up, downward facing dog. Second side, inhale, lift the left leg up high, press into both palms evenly here. Good, exhale, slowly bend the left knee, bring that left shin all the way up. Look back at your right foot, Really press into the top of that right foot. Good, inhale, we walk the fingertips back, loop the shoulders, lift the chest, maybe look up. And use the exhale to melt in, nice and easy. And I'm not gonna cue the breath here, I'm gonna pass it fully over to you. So find nice, long, beautiful inhalations and really listen, savor that exhale, listen to the sound of your breath as you breathe out. Take one more cycle of breath here. Just notice where your mind went. Notice how your heart feels, the emotion. Just notice your presence. And stick with your breath, the sound of your breath. Let it move you slowly to rise back up. We'll rock onto the left hip and we'll gently swing that right leg all the way around from your core, even this transition. Bring the right foot down either on the inside of that leg or on the outside. Lift the hips to help you get it there. Working, it's okay if it doesn't touch, but working to ground this right big toe mound down into the earth, then lift up from the pelvic floor. When you're ready, lift the left fingertips up high, breathe in. Exhale to find the twist, outer edge of the left elbow on the outer edge of the right thigh. Right fingertips come from behind. We're breathing here, we're massaging the internal organs, really getting the most out of this time. It doesn't always look like, you know, harder, faster, stronger. It's about savoring, being present with the sensation. 
moving from the middle here. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, maybe a gentle twist from your center. This twist for me is a very out with the old, sort of in with the new vibes. Really ringing out the body, moving energy, stimulating that third chakra, and also the heart space. All of it really, take one more breath. And exhale to slowly release. Okay, from here, just simply uncross the legs, send them out in front. Reach the fingertips up. Think up and over, so you're really lifting the low belly up as if you had a, a little ball that you're trying to lift up and over here. And we'll mount for just a cycle of breath into this seated forward full Paschimottanasana. Close your eyes, relax your jaw. Know that you are loved. You are love, and I am not afraid to say it. Okay, release slowly, easy, nice and easy. Come onto your back. When you get there, hug the knees into the chest. Rock gently side to side here. <sighs> Relax your shoulders, send the left leg out long. Squeeze the right knee in, then switch. Right leg out long, left knee in, and switch. And switch again. And now we can start to lift the head, the neck, the shoulders up if you like here. Keep the skin of the face soft. Just switching back and forth, letting the extended leg hover over the ground. Breathing deep. Give thanks for your body here for this time again to move the body for the brain, for the mind for the heart. We're here for three. You got this. Lift the chest, the shoulders up a little higher too. And on the one, release. Bring the feet to the earth and extend the right leg out long, left leg out long. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, full body stretch. And exhale, release. Bring the hands somewhere in your body here. Close your eyes and see how fast you can surrender to stillness. Feel the gentle rise and fall of your breath. Let the eyelids get heavy for a moment here. Jaw softens. Taking a moment here at the end of this practice to just be as cliched as it sounds, practice just being here. Balancing out all the movement of everyday life and even of the practice with a moment of stillness. And on your next inhale, let it be big, let it be buoyant, let it be loving. Exhale, bring the palms together. Inhale, thumbs up to third eye as you start to wiggle the toes, move the feet. Feel the pressure of your thumbs right here on your third eye. This is that uh, symbolic place of the inner teacher snuggling up to your intuition. You can even use your thumb knuckles to massage it as I am here. It's not selfish to savor the moment. It can be really beautiful to get in the habit of learning how to be present with what is and enjoying it, being able to pivot and extend that opportunity, lead by example for others. You deserve it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow we, were, we are very close to the 20th day mark, which is exciting. So 
Let's keep going. Take good care. Namaste. Thank you.